Hey guys, welcome to King's RC and today I've got a brand new Armour Outcast It's a 1 5th scale 8S brushless and this is my first 8S truck and looking forward to feeling the power of this bad boy Now I'm not going to go through the specs but I will show you what I'm going to do to it before I run it and some comparison sizes if you haven't seen it before Let's get this thing out of the box and have a closer look. Boom. There it is, guys. Look at that. The tires are massive on this. So I've seen my mates, the Bash Bros, they've got X Maxes and that, but you don't really pay attention to it too closely until you have one of your own big car. It doesn't really appeal to you when it's not yours as much, but when you have your own, and you got it right there in front of you it's like you, you notice all the details it just looks so good I mean I love how armor always has that don't just bash blast let's show some size comparisons but first gotta take this thing off oh man it's the best part ever taking the cover off new RC This is a bit shorter wheelbase than the Creighton and I wanted a stunt truck. That's the reason why I chose this and also um, I had a choice between this and the X-Max and I ended up with this because I've seen the X-Max tends to turn over a lot and I, I still want to drive the car rather than just doing jumps and this thing does seem to handle pretty good but uh, we'll see how it goes when we run it. Alright guys, so included in the box, you got your uh, DX3 controller here. And also you got your little tool for the C-clips. Wheel wrench here. And some of these spares. That's about it. Instruction manual. We'll do some size comparisons. Stay tuned. I'll just line them all up. So here you go guys, size comparison, we've got the uh, 110 laser nut there, the Mojave, I thought the Mojave, Mojave was big but, you know, and I thought that was big, but check out the tyres, it's way bigger than the Baja, now the Baja is one fifth scale, you know, this is still a bit longer, maybe this is the same length as the Creighton maybe, I'm not sure, I don't have a Creighton but yeah, that's just massive. Look at the body. So you see the size difference there. <laughs> that's the Bronco there. It's massive. Can't wait to run this, guys. Yeah, it's a bit late now already, so you'll have to stay tuned for the running video. Let me put this back on the stand and show you the inside. Let's take this body clips off. Now I wish all the cars, all RC cars you buy would have this. This is freaking awesome. Wow, look at that. Sorry, my lighting's a bit bad over here, but... Massive. Whoa, that, that motor is huge. Look at that motor, guys. Massive. One-fifth scale. But yeah, just still amazed how big these tires are. Look at that. It's huge. Guys, the body is really nice. I've got some... I've got some fiberglass drywall tape. Uh... Plasterboard fiberglass joint tape, shugu, and we'll reinforce this body before we take it out for a run. Just so I can avoid, well, minimize that anyway. I should have done it when I got my Mojave, but I was too excited and just wanted to run it, bash it. Also, another thing I'll do is change the shock oil to 30 weight 
Now I did have a recommendation from a YouTuber, RC Enthusiast. Thanks for recommending this. He's um, actually not just him, but a few people have bent their shock shaft from you know hard landings and that. And apparently, if you change your shock oil to lighter weight, I think it's what's in there is maybe 45. I'm not sure. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys. So. This is a self adhesive, so we're just gonna stick it around to the corners where it's likely going to break and cover it up with shugu. I'm just gonna cut little pieces up and stick it all along here. Just like that. And now I just gotta put some shugo on there. I've overlapped right in the corners there. So it really gives it an extra strength. Because these corners here, that's where it's gonna end up tearing up. Just like what happened to Guys, when you're putting in the shugu, you really wanna you really wanna massage it in there. Like get it right in between the drywall tape to make sure it's stuck right onto the body to really fill up these little squares there all right guys so um i got that all done it's pretty much um all good to go maybe just i might just go around and touch up a little areas that i've missed here but that should, shouldn't be a problem it's mainly the um corners here the body weighs like probably four times five times more than it did before but yeah, it doesn't matter as long as it holds together. It's all that matters. I was wearing these gloves and accidentally touched the outside of the body and got some shugu on the body but that dried up. I used a bit of um, this eucalyptus spray to just wipe it off and yeah, it came out. Yeah, it came out. So if you're working with glue and even stickers if you want to remove some stickers this this stuff is great to get all the sticky stuff off that gets stuck to the body so um yeah keep that in mind all right guys so I left this overnight and it's all dried up now feels pretty um reinforced <laughs> you, you can go all out and fill up the whole body and the holes in that and take off the supports and put some more in there but I reckon that'll be alright for now alright guys so next thing I'm gonna do is take off these shocks 30 weight shock oil replace the stock ones with these just so we can prevent some shock bending alright so we got the front shocks here first we take this off little diaphragm thing off and pull this out pump all that oil out I see why they kind of bend because if you look in there those piston holes are pretty small I don't know if you can see that but they're really tiny so when you go to a big massive jump and it sort of just like locks in and the shock piston can't really go anywhere and that's where the stress goes down to the shaft and bend it. See what the the shocks feel like before you pull it apart. But this is really, really hard. Like, like if you go to there, you can feel it like locking in. And when that goes in and locks up, that's where the stress is going to go into the shaft and bend it putting some thinner shock oil in here will help it all right guys so i've got all the shocks all done up now got 30 weight oil in all of them so the front was really easy to take off the back you gotta take the wing and the willy bar off just to get to the screw there so the batteries i'm running with is the two prime seven 7600 milliamp 75c 
4S batteries and these are hard case they actually fit perfect in the battery compartment there without having to adjust it with these batteries in guys and the reinforced body this car is going to be super heavy oh my god all right guys so stay tuned running vid coming up thanks for watching